Live from the Fasten the TV studios, it's In the News with Fasten the News Desk. Thank you, Chris. I'm Lisa Kleinhandler, Editor-in-Chief at Fastener News Desk. Here's what's happening in Fastener Industry News, scholarship opportunities, and upcoming events the week of August 14th, 2023. The July Fastener Distributor Index seasonally adjusted 40.7 reading was substantially lower versus last month's 45.6 reading, dragged down by a significantly weaker than expected sales backdrop. Three of the four components of the FDI, sales, employment, and supplier deliveries, saw deterioration, while customer inventory showed some month-over-month -month improvement. Quoting activity was said to be high, but conversion to actual orders was lacking. This drove the seasonally adjusted sales index to a record reading of just 22.3, down sharply from 41.9 last month. 70% of the respondents indicated sales were below seasonal expectations, which is the highest since the early days of the pandemic. Sales exceeded expectations for only 10% of respondents. The forward-looking indicator was also slightly softer month over month, decreasing to 38.8 from June's 39.3 reading. Fasten all teams with Trex to turn used plastic into outdoor building products. One of the ESG objectives of the Fastenal company is to reduce consumption and environmental impacts throughout its operations and provide solutions for its customers to do the same. To support this objective, Fastenal has entered into a scrap supply agreement with Trex Company, the world's leading manufacturer of wood alternative composite decking, railing, and other building products made from recycled materials. The entire portfolio of Trex composite decking is made from 95% recycled and reclaimed materials, including a mix of polyethylene film and industrial wood scrap. Through the partnership, Fastenal is collecting used PE film in its distribution centers, branches, and customer-specific on-site locations and shipping it to the Trex to use the material in the manufacturing of its composite decking products. PE film, known as pallet wrap in the distribution industry, is used by Fastenal and its suppliers to secure boxes and other packaging to pallets for shipment. Registration is open for the 2023 International Fastener Expo at Mandalay Bay in Las Vegas from October 9th through the 11th. Step into the future of fasteners, machinery, and industrial products at the most anticipated event of the year. The International Fastener Expo is the ultimate B2B expo for all things fasteners. As the largest fastener event in North America for more than 40 years, IFE caters to every level of the supply chain, making it the go-to event for fastener industry professionals. Attendees can participate in special events like the IFE Annual Golf Tournament, the Welcome Reception Party, Keynote Speaker, Informative Sessions on the Show Floor, and the prestigious Fastener Hall of Fame and Young Fastener Professional Award Ceremony, where industry excellence is celebrated. Register today. Use promo code FND50 to save $50 on your registration. Go to Fastener Shows. Dot com. The fastener industry has lost another veteran. Maury Aaron Finkelstein, Warren Fastening South, died at the age of 80. His family said his zest for life, love of his family and friends, incredible talent in golf, sense of humor and optimism will be forever missed. May his memory always be a blessing to his family, friends, and colleagues. The latest business to be featured in the Fastener News Desk fascinating news series celebrating your success is West Coast Lock Washer. WCL is celebrating 66 years, a second generation of ownership led by brothers Lee Harper, CEO, and Craig Harper, President. WCL Company has been specializing in fastener solutions since 1957, a leading supplier of mil-spec and commercial fastener products such as lock washers, flat and spring washers, threaded fasteners, plastic components, and customer specials. 
WCL continues to be a leading force in the fastener industry, reaching new heights by embracing an enhanced team culture guided by their current management team. Together, they bring over 125 years of combined service and knowledge to the fastener industry. Congratulations to the WCL team. Help support by volunteering or donating to the Midwest Fastener Association's annual bed build to support the Sleep in Heavenly Peace organization. The goal is to raise enough money to build 90 beds for kids in the Chicago area during the event on August 20th. The bed build is being held at Abbott Interfast in Wheeling, Illinois. Go to mwfa.net for more info. The Midwest Fastener Association's highly anticipated Fastener Week is just one week away, taking place in Chicago August 20th through the 24th. Members and attendees will experience the Sleep in Heavenly Peace Bed Build event, MWFA Plant Tours, a print reading seminar, the 41st MWFA Fastener Show, a Retro's 80s Fastener Bash, and the MWFA 70th Golf Outing and Mixer. For all the details, go to mwfa.net. The Midwest Fastener Association is accepting applications for their 2023 education scholarships. This is a great opportunity you won't want to miss out on. If you qualify, you could receive significant financial support to pursue your educational dreams. Multiple scholarships will be awarded with a minimum award of $1,500. The scholarships will be awarded at the November MWFA meeting. The application deadline is September 1st. For details and application, go to mwfa.net. Connect, learn, and grow at the 2023 PacWest Fall Conference happening Thursday, September 14th through Saturday, September 16th. Three days of networking, education, and fun. To learn more and register, go to pac-west.org. Join the New England Fastener Distributors Association for Understanding Blueprints, a virtual class taking place September 18th at 10 a.m. Eastern. The class is for anyone in the fastener industry, whether you're just starting your fastener career or a seasoned veteran. Instructor Jim Speck will be demonstrating how to effectively read a blueprint. He will cover the basics such as how to read a print, the different types of prints, understanding what needs to be on the print, and understanding tolerances and specifications. Visit nefda.com to register today. Grow from novice to knowledgeable with the Fastener Training Institute's Fastener Basics in Denver, Colorado on September 22nd. Expert trainer, Lawrence Klaus, IFI Director of Education and Training, will teach this all-day training session geared for individuals new to the fastener industry and those who need to know more about the products they sell. Register today at fastenertraining.org. The Fastener Training Institute is partnering with the International Fastener Expo and hosting an all-day fastener training class on Monday, October 9th at IFE 2023 in Las Vegas. Fastener Fundamentals, the nuts and bolts for fastener professionals, will be instructed by Carmen Vertulo, fastener consultant and trainer. He will teach the basics of fasteners and beyond to industry professionals, including the best of Fastener Training Institutes, Fastener Basic Training, and Certified Specialist Training Programs. For more information, go to fasteneshows.com. Next Generation Advanced Planning and Scheduling is here. Optessa's AI-driven optimization ushers in a new way for manufacturers to generate optimal plans and schedules in a fraction of the time respond to disruptions, meet delivery dates, reduce excessive parts inventory, eliminate costly idle time, and stabilize your supply chain. Request a live demo of Optessa's next-gen APS platform today. Visit optessa.com.
www.thepeopleshop.com for more information. Save the date, Friday, October 6th, for Manufacturing Day 2023, celebrated nationally on the first Friday in October and throughout the month. Manufacturing Day is manufacturing's biggest annual opportunity to inspire the next generation, positively shift perceptions about our industry, and build the foundation for the manufacturing workforce of the future. For more information and to register your Manufacturing Day event, go to mfgday.com. The stories featured in this week's episode of In the News can be found at Fastener News Desk or in our feed at Fastener News at x.com, the new Twitter rebrand, on LinkedIn in the Fastener News group, and at Fastener News at Threads. If you'd like to share your company's news or events, contact me, Lisa, at FastenerNewsDesk.com. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of In the News with Fastener News Desk. Until next week, be well and keep it fascinating.